वेलकम टू ए एस एंड ए लेवल केमिस्ट्री आर टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज ग्रुप टू सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ग्रुप टू ऑफ द पीरियोडिक टेबल विच इज द ग्रुप दैट कंटेन्स मैग्नीशियम कैल्शियम स्ट्रॉनशियम बेरियम एक्सेट्रा सो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू गो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू गो टू इन टू डिटेल्स ऑफ द अदर एलिमेंट्स बिकॉज वी आर एक्चुअली कंसर्न विद दीज फोर एलिमेंट्स वेन वी आर डूइंग ग्रुप टू so let's move forward uh, now uh, reactivity of group 2 elements so uh, as we go down group 2 the the elements become more reactive so this is because uh, you know that down as we go down the group the nuclear charge which is basically the number of protons inside the nucleus increases however at the same time as the number of shells are increasing down the group the the, the atomic radius and the shielding by full inner shells increases so these terms shielding atomic radius we, we came across these terms when we did ionization energy in the electrons in atoms playlist so if you haven't watched that playlist you should first go back to that playlist and then come here so what i was saying was that uh, as the number of shells is increasing down the group the atomic radius and the shielding effect by full inner shells is in also is, is increasing at the same time so um, these two factors uh, which is the which are the increase in atomic radius and shielding they will outweigh the increase nuclear charge by outweigh i mean that they will the, that the effect of these two factors will be greater than the effect of the increased nuclear charge and as a result the force of attraction between the nucleus and outermost electron decreases so this is uh, this this makes a lot of sense because if atomic radius and shielding are dominating over nuclear charge then what will happen is that the force of attraction between the nucleus and outermost electron will be lower and therefore less energy which is the ionization energy is needed to remove the outermost electron and if if less energy is needed to remove the outermost electron it becomes easier to remove the outermost electron as we are going down the group and as it's becoming easier to remove the outermost electron down the group it's the reactivity of group 2 elements is increasing because they will lose their electrons more readily down the group so reactions of group 2 elements with oxygen now the general pattern is that the element reacts with oxygen to form mag uh, to form no, not uh, not magnesium sorry I'm, I'm, that was a specific example but yeah the general uh, trend is that the element reacts with oxygen to form the oxide of the element so for example magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide calcium reacts with oxygen to form calcium oxide strontium reacts with oxygen to form strontium oxide so um <coughs> sorry these are the reactions of group 2 elements with oxygen and now there's something called the flame color so this is very important so when you burn these elements or when you when you when you Uh, put a put a compound of these elements uh, over a bunsen burner flame then for magnesium or or its uh, for for magnesium or its compounds you will get a white flame color for calcium and its compounds you will get an orange or red flame color so now actually it's really uh, difficult to distinguish between the two because it's actually somewhere between so i have written both colors you can write either one of them and the mark mark scheme will give you a more accurate color so you can you can actually pick it up pick it up from the mark scheme so some mark scheme said orange some mark scheme said red so i actually picked up both and wrote it wrote them over here now strontium and its compounds give a red color over a bunsen flame and barium and its compounds give an apple green color over a bunsen flame so these are the colors you need to remember the other observation that we get apart from the flame color is that a white solid is formed in each case in each case all the oxides are white solids so the oxides of group 2 are basic oxides so they are not acidic they are basic oxides uh, which means they re readily react with acids uh, and as as we go down the group the oxides become more basic now this is because when we when we add these oxides to water magnesium oxide barely dissolves in water okay magnesium oxide barely dissolves in water so it will uh, so it will it will not give magnesium hydroxide which is mgoh hold twice uh, and mgoh hold twice you can see that it contains the oh negative ions mgoh hold twice i'm sorry about that mgoh hold hold twice contains the 
OH negative ions and therefore it is alkaline so uh, but but it will not form it is not forming in this case because MgO is barely solid